The New Dimension, Emco Unimat PC. Willie, Hans, Walter, and Paul are interested in the new Unimat PC. This is Hans, model builder, retired, 63 years old. Willie, a PC fan, 24 years old. This is Paul, a skilled worker, 45 years old. And this is our Walter, schoolboy, 15 years old. What is special about the Unimat? The Unimat PC is a conventional lathe with a sturdy steel machine bed and basic features which leave absolutely nothing to be desired. But the best about it is that you can retrofit these machines with a PC package, converting them into fully functionable small automatic machines. And there's even more. You can actually design on your screen with a CAD program. The PC must be IBM compatible and have 640 kilobytes, two drives, or a fixed disk and one drive. Depending on the equipment, design work can be performed in black and white or in color. MS-DOS is the operating system to be used. You simply install the stepper motor card in your PC. The Unimat can be converted to PC mode in just a few easy steps. Stepper motors on, cable inserted, naturally in the right place, as is shown here, and the Unimat PC is ready to go. Really? That's absolutely fantastic. And does it actually work as well? Yes, in fact, it's quite simple to work. The description and this film show the very simple control elements which are used most. Stop! Here, we're showing the software being installed. Insert disk. C appears on the screen. With these two keys, we go to drive A. We then press the colon key and the enter key. The blue one here on the right-hand side of the screen. A capital A appears on the monitor, and we enter I for installation. Press the enter key again and the installation of the software program starts to run automatically. With these cursor keys, we move the bar to the language we're using. In our case, we move to the line, English. Press the Enter key again, in our case, this one here, which is flashing, on the right-hand side. The second image now asks whether disk drive or fixed disk. We have a fixed disk. Press Enter, acknowledge the name Unimat, and the correct information again with Enter, and the copy starts. The second disk is placed in A. Enter is pressed again, and after five to 10 minutes, the entire software is installed. With the following data, we go back to the drive C and call up the Unimat program. Don't forget, all data must be acknowledged with Enter. Willie is trying his best to give our PC beginners a few tips. On the screen, we can see a lot of characters. For example here, the direction display for the Z-axis. The minus sign means left, and to go right, we enter the plus sign. It's the same procedure for the X-axis in the travel path, minus for up, plus for down. 
We can also change the cursor. There's a large cursor and a small one. We generally work with the large cursor. The cursor path is displayed in the top right hand corner of the screen. Underneath, we can read off the tool path and the tool position. In the bottom left hand corner of the screen, we find the screen message line, which we represent like this in the film. This is the main menu line, which offers us the various menus. That's really interesting. How can we now start? What keys do I have to press? We'll now get to know our keyboards. The blue keys are the enter keys. On the small keyboard, we have one enter key. On the large one, there are two. We generally use the right hand enter key. The red keys are the cursor keys. We use these to move the cursor up and down, left and right. The yellow keys are the command keys from F1 to F10. In addition, you have the number keys, which we use to enter numbers, here marked in green, and the plus and minus keys. This is the decimal point, flashing in green. and to separate two different numbers, the comma sign in yellow. You also have the page up and page down keys for changing the cursor path and the escape key with which we can either abort a program or return to the next higher menu level. Very interesting. What do I have to do here? Now let's start to work. The screen line on the left asks you to select a menu command. We'll start with the drawing of a blank. We enter F1 or acknowledge with the enter key if the desired menu point is already marked in yellow. The question asks for diameter and length of the blank. We take 22 millimeters and a comma and 100 millimeters. That is, 22 millimeters in diameter and 100 millimeters long. And now we start to draw the cursor step by step. In our case, one cursor step is one millimeter, as is shown here. When we have arrived at the desired position, we acknowledge with the plus key, and we have now drawn the first line. We proceed in this manner, entering plus again, and the next line is drawn. We then draw a diagonal. Simply move the cursor down and to the left and press the plus key. My screen draws the lines for me, always starting from the last point. We take the cursor back to the starting point of the working cycle, leave the menu drawing, return to the main menu, and from it go into the program menu. With rapid traverse, we press the key F1 and we move the tool to the start of the workpiece. I have to admit, that's terrific. You only need to know how to work a few keys and off you go. The next program point is called roughing. The screen asks us, search for starting point. The cursor is already at the starting point. We acknowledge with enter. The cursor jumps in the wrong direction. Press the number key one according to the screen message and the cursor moves in the other direction. And we acknowledge every further point with the enter key. Then the question appears, smooth finish allowance in X and Z directions? We need the smooth finish allowances in order to obtain a particularly good surface finish. The feed in millimeters per minute is standardized at 40 millimeters. We retain that. The working cycle of the program now starts. 
Layer for layer, our tool removes the material that we want to have removed. In order to make the surface smooth, we now go into the program Follow Contour. Here is the question, new or last contour? In this case, it is the last contour. Then the new question, here the feed remains the same. We now only change the smooth finish allowance to zero millimeters in both axes. This operation is now programmed. Don't forget, acknowledge with the enter key every time as the final step. With F1, Rapid Reverse, we return to our starting point. The program is now completely compiled. And it's that easy? So it is. I can hardly believe it. Everything on the screen is a bit small. That's where the program display helps us. We can enlarge with the command F2 and F3. With the zoom key, the screen displays the blank enlarged. And under point F2, we position the cursor where we start the image detail. Then we press the enter key. Move the cursor with the cursor keys, and we can already acknowledge with enter. We have enlarged the section, which we want to look at in detail. With the key F1, we return to the normal size. It's as easy as that. In the drawing menu, there is also a command mirroring under F6. After activation of the key, the screen mirrors the entire contour as it really looks. And with the command visible edges, we can give our design so-called visible edges. We move the cursor near the visible edge points, acknowledge with the key F5, and the visible edge is automatically drawn. Very simple. In order to store the written program, we go to the menu point, Archive, and store this program under F1. Yes, everyone says it sounds easy, but is it really that simple? Yes, we can try it out. Let's go to the machine and try to machine a part. The blank is clamped in position. We now have to set up the tool. The cursor keys are moved up and down to the correct diameter. The cursor step can be enlarged or reduced in size with the page up and page down keys. We reduce the cursor step to 0.5 or 0.1, 0.05 or 0.01 millimeters to enable us to perform precise infeed of the tool up to the workpiece. If we now scratch the workpiece, as is happening here in the picture, we acknowledge the position of the tool with the enter key, and the next question is, we now enter the 22 millimeters and again acknowledge with enter. Then the next question appears. We proceed in the same way. With the cursor keys, we move the tool to the setup length Acknowledge with Enter 